Just had my first observing session using the Acuta Voyager Mac 80, the, the fast version. Why it's called the fast I don't know, but it beat my expectations in every way. It just blew it out of the park what I was expecting from this. Uh, so first of all I'd look at the Pleiades or the Seven Sisters and I was expecting a narrow field of view. I could uh, not get it all in the same field of view I mean, but I could quite easily and, and with a 20mm 70 degrees wide angle eyepiece. I'll go more into a setup guide and each eyepiece in detail in another video, but I could fit it all in the same field of view. The stars were bright, crisp, sharp, very little coma smearing, maybe on the eight, out of 10%, but it is a budget scope, but again, better than I was expecting. Absolutely blown away. And so for a compact scope, put it on a sturdy tripod, as sturdy as you can afford, this is actually a deep sky telescope as well. So don't just think that these are for lunar and planetary observing with, with the correct, with a, a with a uh, shorter focal length eyepiece. And so my favourite topic uh, uh, or subject to look at, double stars, Gamma Andromeda looked absolutely amazing, as did Alberio. The colours were absolutely superb. I actually preferred looking at them with the lower power eyepiece because I think with double stars they are much sharper and they, they seem nicer I think closer together and I also even looked at Polaris, and which is, as some books will say, a test for a 4-inch scope. Uh, this is 80 millimeters, what, 3.1 inches, and uh, I could just make out just the Polaris uh, companion, very faint next to it, and that, that's a true test for this telescope, which it passed. And uh, if I let it cool down for a lot longer, it would have been much clearer. And so, yes, for you... Um, people who like looking at the planets. I had a look at Jupiter and the highest magnification you get with the scope as standard is just 68 magnification. But again, that the wider field of view that you could get with this, you could get all the moons, the four brightest moons, satellites, within the same field of view and the cloud belts were easily visible. And I'm sure if you were to upgrade at a later date with a, a dedicated planetary eyepiece, and mount it on a very sturdy tripod, the best one you can afford. This will be a, a good planetary scope as well. So yeah, that's a, a quick first impression of the Acuta Voyager Mac 80 fast version. Absolutely fantastic all-round little scope. Uh, if I owned one of these, I, I think the 12-inch Dobsonian and my 4-inch Tal might not get used very much. Uh, ideal if you're at home or just putting it in the back of the car with a tripod to go to a dark sky location. Absolutely fantastic little scope. And so, link to buy in the description. Obviously, you are supporting our channel by doing so. Uh, as always, reply to the order confirmation email saying you watch our channel and I'll put a little extra something in the box. So, thanks very much again and I'll see you next time.